Hello guys, hello everybody, welcome, I am Anna and today we are going to be reacting to episode 6 and 7 of the first season of Harley Quinn. So this is a special section where the highest tier patrons get to recommend a show and a random winner is selected. So for this month we have Harley Quinn. So we're going to do a couple of episodes. Most of you know that I have already begun watching this show um, and you can find the rest of the season so far in my Patreon and in my channel. So let's go. Wait, did you just steal King Tut's body? Ugh, I was gonna go see that on Sunday. See it? Now you can touch it! <laughs> Yeah, but I've never been like in a museum and thought, oh, I wish I could touch this dead body. <laughs> no, uh, well, someone must. Ooh, look, here's one about you. Why is no one talking about Harley Quinn? I'd like to nominate her to sit on my face. Oh, well, that mm, should have read it through. Um, but those pieces of shit are the only people Joker ever treated as equals. I'll never match up to him unless I'm in the Legion too. Okay, so what you're saying is you're not over your ex and you want to throw your success in his face. Exactly. Honestly, that might be the most relatable thing you've ever said. I could call my old pal Hank Kissinger. I'm sure he has a few war crimes he never pulled off. I know we're criminals, but are we really war criminals? No one thinks they're a war criminal. Then you find yourself aiding a separatist movement to overthrow a democratically elected leader and BOOM! You're a war criminal! We're gonna rob Bruce Wayne! Thank you for letting me use my brains for once. Most people don't let me be who I am! Ah. Ooh, I see what we're working with. Here we go. Ah! Ah! Oh, shit! And why was she put down so gently? Um, because she's not a misogynist troll that should be living in a well. What the hell are you doing? Stealing whatever's in here. It's even more restricted. Oh, perfect. Even more restricted. You're the psycho. <laughs> Who is that? Who? I am a golden god. <laughs> so you didn't call me about the break-in at Wayne Enterprises? What? No. Oh, this is about the breakdown of my marriage. <laughs> the signal is for emergencies. Well, emergencies. You've abused it. Look, my purse. Oh, that was awesome. Everyone kicked major ass. I mean, psycho. When you froze that security guard, mwah. Ah! Don't you dare Italian chef finger kiss any part of that disaster. Clayface lost his arm. No, no, it's he fine. Can't grow I'll not. just play one armed characters for the rest of my career. When the crew has the universally hated Dr. Psycho and his hussy new girlfriend, <laughs> oh. Harley Quinn is so inept, she left behind a member of her own team who is now in the hands of the Gotham police. What the hell's he talking about? We all made it back in one piece. Not exactly. Tell me where Harley Quinn is. <laughs> I just want to get back to my dad! All right. If he squeals, the cowled critic will have a field day and the Legion of Doom will never take me. Uh, but mostly we'll all be in prison for the rest of our lives. Oh yeah, that, that too. And I'll never get my lost little right-hand man back. Yeah, that, that, that too, too. Look, I'd love to come along and support you, but... But you want to find the critic that said you're the biggest fuck-up on my crew and tear him a new asshole. I get it, I get it. I will not be slandered! I'll help. I'll help you smack him around a little bit. Well, I can't believe that bad old Batman took away your special signal. Easy as one, two. Yeah! <laughs> okay, okay, plan B. Hello, my husband's been murdered and the killer's still in the house. You know what? I'm gonna tell you where the lair is. The lair is on. Don't tell him anything. Oh shit! It's you. Of course, it's you. Who's she? My ex-wife. Why are you at my boyfriend's house? Quick sidebar. How did this work sexually? Not great. I don't have time to give some review. I'm too busy getting cunnilingus from my new boyfriend, Brad, who's amazing at it. Oh, come on. Only weak men do that. <laughs> oh fucking hell! Call me, father. Hermit? He has a kid. Harley, that wasn't the plan. We have no idea what that button does. I gotta do something crazy, and in the chaos, we'll grab the arm. Okay, you winked. Is that a wink that, no, I'm not going to press the button? Is that a wink? I am going to press the button. What's the plan? Exactly. What? Oh. So this must be 
will you fuck the bats? Hmm. Are you gonna help me or what? You seen the bat cave? I think he's suicidal. He he said you abandoned him. I don't know what he wants from me. We're co-workers. My screensaver just kicked in, didn't it? Yeah. You and I ain't that different. We're completely different. We're both badasses who look good in spandex. This polymer body armor is made from indestructible microfiber. Not good at emotion. Or vocabulary. But hey, you locked me in the basement for days? Mm -hmm. Killed anyone who seemed to like me? That's true. Never bought me a Wayne Station for... All right. Fuck, you named me Herman! You're the worst father ever! Okay. Super villains don't come from happy homes, and I saw so much evil potential in you. Holy shit! Can we do that again? No. Oh, so you came back. Well, I've got a new friend now, so there's nothing you can say. I'm sorry, Jim. I'm sorry, too. <laughs> Thank you for everything, the arm. <laughs> but I've got my real friend back now, so you can go on. Damn. Go get ribs or back into your daddy. Damn. Everybody hands up! Hands in the You're air! Under Not so fast, gentlemen. Damn! Ah, hey. <sighs> what a pussy! Using his amazing brain powers, he made Batman vanish. His super cool son must be so proud. Uh, that's not what I- Let him have this. If she could only just stop leaving crew members behind. We didn't leave anybody- Oh, shit. <sighs> oh! Hey, King, I am so sorry for leaving you here so long. Oh, no problem. It allowed me to experience firsthand the failings of the prison industrial complex. Yeah. They're learning. Baby steps. Right, Harley? I will kill each and every one of you with my bare hands in my ass! I love him so much. They always use that same damn picture. It's better than the picture they use of me. Hey. Can we please not do the unnecessary backstory thing? Named Brenda. Okay. Who is back <laughs> in the dating game for the first time in a while? Problem is, the only way to get into the room is through an air duct about four inches wide. I don't know how the hell we're gonna do that. Yeah, I thought that might be an issue. And? And I was right, it's a definite issue. Oh, shit! Look, obviously, I'm not pro Arkham, but if there was any person who definitely belongs there, it would be the queen of, oh my God, and you're gone. Yeah, <laughs> she didn't hear any of that shit. Let's this is going to be bad, isn't it? Well, hi, everybody. Aww. Oh my god, it's him! Oh, he's so <laughs> He makes the best eggs. <laughs> Y'all got a kitchen here. Fables has been teaching me the ropes of super villainy. You are the one saying I should listen to other people. No, I said listen to me. Okay. You're like broadcast bad. She's cable bad. <laughs> I can't listen to you when you're dressed like a 40s housewife who's fucking her husband's boss. I mean, what is with that outfit? Boom! Oh, God. Is that a bouquet of roses? You realize that's like handing me a bunch of baby heads, right? Are you sure Cinderella's mouse is up for the job? You were there. That guy ratted us out, so I killed that guy. Then everyone saw me kill that guy, so I killed everyone. Oh, they oh, are. There we go. Go get him, boys. Come on, the bones, too. Come on, the bones. And if you like the pigs, wait till you see the three blind mice eat a body. The mice eat bodies, too? Oh, my God. Those little bastards can just gnaw the shit out of a head. You know, it takes longer because they got those little, you know, mice teeth. The best. Wow. And if you want to get in there, you better start pole vaulting over those lines you don't want to cross. Is that from Mama Mia? Thank you for your counsel. I know what happened here. You don't recognize me without the kite? <laughs> Oh. I'm sorry there. I think put the kite away, maybe. Well, that's actually easier said than done. Okay. Um, anybody got an Allen key? Hey, what's he doing here? I thought he was loyal to Fables. He's a mercenary, loyal to the almighty dollar. An adorable little soldier of fortune, isn't he? If it wasn't lasers, it was going to be lung cancer. I've never seen a mouse smoke unfiltered human-sized cigarettes to that degree. Run, run, run. You know what you and your crew are 
Miss Gwen. A scourge. Hey, look at that! The mayor upgraded us from nuisance to scourge! <laughs> Whoa, we skipped over minutes! Hand over that weather machine. Over my dead body. All right, how you want to go? Little Bo Peep could beat. What the hell kind of fairy tale is he from? Well, from the looks of him, one of those Danish ones that's super racist. He's not with me. You murdered all of my family! Oh, oh shit. shit. Yeah, I did that. The sunglasses, the hat. Are you embarrassed to be seen with me? Can we talk about this somewhere else? Oh, look, the table's ready. Let's just, let's go eat. I believe I've lost my appetite. Hey, ma'am, please don't do that. I thought you ended the bloodline! I didn't leave anyone alive. Did you see anyone alive? Eh. No. Eh? What is eh? I threw myself against the electrified fence at Star Labs. But instead of killing me, it... Gave him powers. Gave me powers! Not unless you can bring my family back from the dead! Okay, hang on, let me check. Anyone? <laughs> yeah, no, we, we genuinely do not care what other people think. I care about what you think. Well, that's really sweet of you to say. And I care about dad ass. Okay, look. Oh, hey, this is my roommate, Bill, AKA the Bildo. Hey, I'm Ivy. I'm, I'm his girlfriend. Hell yeah. <laughs> Guess what? You're not dead. I'm a bad guy, not a bad person. You're a dumb person. You're gonna <laughs> regret letting me walk out of here alive, Quinn. <laughs> Fables! Why? <laughs> oh my goodness. Can you believe with all that ending the bloodline talk, I almost forgot this guy? <laughs> oh my God. All right, now I'm going. Get this straight, you went through two heists, sacrificed a family and that weird electric guy just to steal an unstealable weather machine, but didn't realize that you needed a password. Ooh, unstealable! Try that. Two Have you tried login attempts? attempts? Initiating self-destruct. I cannot believe that I had not realized that Wanda Sykes was the one doing the, the voice for the Queen of Fables. I adore that woman. You know, one of my favorite sitcoms is Julia Louis Dreyfus and Wanda Sykes in the same show, which is um, the new adventures full Christine. I adore the show because of those two. But I guess it's just that lately I saw her new um, stand-up comedy show in Netflix, and I hadn't heard her voice in so long that I just realized that's her in this show. Oh, I I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like she has. Her voice has so much personality itself that it almost felt like it didn't belong to the cartoon. You know, much, uh, a lot of times it's quite the opposite. Like the cartoon is so much more, you know, has so much more than the voice, and sometimes the voice falls flat. Um, but in this case, it felt it felt the opposite. I felt like the cartoon didn't quite reach the, the, the expression that Wanda was giving with her voice. Maybe I just adore her too much, like, don't take my word for it. It is really um, shocking to see a real villain in this, because every villain that we've seen in the show, of course we already know them beforehand, um, but they are insane and you know it's it's a different kind of villain and crimes that they do you know people die sure but they don't enjoy just the killing of people you know what I mean or oh, that's how it feels and now having a real ass villain in there just like killing going on a fucking killing spree and just making everybody else around her nervous and be like, oh shit, we fucked up releasing her. We really are over our head. Um, wow. The accomplishment of that. That was great. That was great. The show did it really good. Well, that was really, really fun. Thank you very much for the recommendations, David Cleveland. As always, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much for joining me today. Have a great day and I'll be seeing you around. Thank you so much to David Cleveland, Eric, Sheriff, 
Shear, Topher B, Cody Evans, Kurt Gold, Jonah Fuel, Les Reese, and Thomas Janis.